Good morning, happy Sunday. I am Ashley Dory. I'm the Children's Director at First United Methodist Church in Camden, Arkansas, and I'm so glad that you're joining me this morning. I don't know about you, but I have been enjoying the weather so much lately, and it's beautiful outside, so I thought I'd do our lesson outside today. Um, I hope you're getting out there and enjoying the weather before it gets too hot. Today is Pentecost, and so our lesson is going to be um, is going to be from Acts, um, and we're going to be talking about Pentecost and how Pentecost is the birthday, the celebration of the church and the beginning of the church, um, and we're going to kind of read about and find out how um, how that all came about. So I'm going to be reading from the book of Acts today, and it's chapter 2, verses 1 through 41. So if you have your Bible with you, um, I would love for you and your family to follow along with me as I'm reading. I'm not going to read all of it. Um, I'm actually going to read kind of a shortened version, but um, I would love for you to take that time at home um, to read that with your family. So again... It's the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 41. The disciples were waiting in a house. Suddenly, a sound like wind filled the entire house. The disciples looked around and saw little flames of fire on each of them. It was the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, that would be with them always. The disciples began to speak other languages. I'm going to pause right there for a moment, and I want you to think about um, if you were in a room and all of a sudden there was loud, rushing wind and flames around you. I want you to think about how you might, what you would think about that, and how do you think the disciples who were in that room felt? Um, and then I want you to think about, it says, the disciples began to speak other languages. What happened? What happens if all of a sudden you're speaking a new language and everyone around you is speaking a new language? How odd would that be and how that might make you feel? People outside the house heard the noises. What is happening? The people wondered. Peter told the people, God has sent the Holy Spirit to us. That is what you have seen and heard. The people listened to Peter. He told them about Jesus. Peter helped the people to believe in Jesus and told them to be baptized. The Holy Spirit will be given to you, Peter told the people. The people believed and were baptized. So I want you um, to think for a moment. When it says that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit came to them, it came to everyone, not just the disciples in the room. It came to everyone in the whole area of Jerusalem. And the Holy Spirit was available for everyone. It's the Spirit that empowers God's people and us to continue to share the good news of God and Jesus all over the world. Um, and, and that's what we think about when they're all speaking these different languages. I think about all the people all over the world and spreading the good news all over the world about Jesus. And I want you to remember that the Spirit is still active at work. And it's active all over the world. And we may not hear a howling wind or we may not see flames around us, but that does not mean that the Spirit is not there and it's not with us all the time. It continues to empower us to spread the good news. So we're going to look at our Bible verse, um, and this is our last week that we'll be talking about this Bible verse um, from Acts, and remember it says, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and again, that means all, everyone. And that comes from Acts chapter 2, verse 4. Before we go, I'd like you to bow your heads and say a prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for Pentecost, the birthday of the church. 
thank you for the amazing gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning, and I hope you'll be back next week. Thanks.